how to add comparison table in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a comparison table and add it to your uh, product page into Shopify stores. It is very easy, very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com. Then you are going to sign in after your account then you are going to face here the admin dashboard once you are on the admin dashboard you are going to visit the product section so once you are on the product section you are going to select one of the products that you want to add the comparison table to or you can go ahead and click on add a product so we are going to play here on the uh, existing products so i'm going to choose here the uh, fan right there then we can go ahead and add it right here so to add here the comparison table, we have two choices. The first one is the manual one, which is adding here a table within the description of Shopify. We are going to click on the uh, three dots of the description. Then we have the choice to insert a table. You're going to insert a table. Then you are going to insert the rows or the columns, the before and after uh, afterwards. So as you can see here, this is the manual and the born method so we are going to delete that table in this video i'm going to show you the second and the more efficient one right there which is using canva so without coding we're going to use the canva tool to create our design and the comparison table so now we are going to click on custom size you're going to visit canva.com Sign in into an account and all of that. Go ahead and click on here, custom size. Then choose the table size that you want. For example, I'm going to go over a square one for 500 by 500. So this is the design. As you can see, now we are going to add the uh, color or the background color of it. For example, let's go ahead and add it. Maybe this blue like that. Or you can add some grading colors as much as you like. If you, if, if you have a specific color into your head, you are going to add it as much as you want. So now once here, we are going to type in table. Table. Like that. Then we are going to see here the type of the tables that we have. You can go ahead and select whatever table that you have. If you don't like these, you can go ahead and use the graphic ones. So we are going to set, for example, maybe some tables. This is uh, looking like in comparison tables. So maybe we are going to add this one. So we are going to make it uh, bigger to fit all of the uh, image right there. So we are going to put it like that. You can go ahead and put uh, the elements right there, here and there, for example. Or you can go ahead and create your own table. If you want to create your own table, you are going to visit the elements. Instead of adding one of these graphics, you're going to add, for example, shapes. I'm going to put here shapes. Then we are going to see all of the shapes that are available. On here, we're only going only to use a standard shape like that. For example, I'm going to put the first one like that. Then we are going to make it a little bit bigger. So like that. And now we are going to change the color of it to something like this gray, this or that. Maybe we are going to make it like this. So we are going to add, for example, line. We are going to type line. Now we are going to create the line and put it first vertically. So go ahead and put the line or the length of the line as much as you want. For example, the comparison line is going to be at the middle. So we are going to put it like this. We can go ahead and put it like that. Not till the end, but we are going to put it like this. So like that. Boom. Now we are going to add, for example, two lines. So let's go ahead and add one line like this and we are going to duplicate it and put it like that to the other side. Now we are going to add the text, for example, here, maybe we can add some uh, words, for example, 
or we can add some text like headings. For example, I'm going to add here a normal fan, for example, like that. I'm going to put it like that. Then we are going to duplicate that text, put it here, and I'm going to put here our fan. So now we are going to add the uh, checks or the boxes for the comparison elements. For example, here, uh, I'm going to put, for example, here, let's say here, five speeds, or speeds like that. Go ahead and put it like this. And here we are going to put only three speeds. So we are going to put here only three. Not here, but there. Then we are going to put here the uh, comparison, all the comparisons. For example, we are going to put here maybe a solid uh, or mm, plastic made. And here we are going to duplicate that, but we are going to put it here. But we are going to put here carbon, carbon made like that. You can go ahead and animate these um, texts uh, here and add the, to them, for example, some elements. I am going to add some carbon, maybe like that. We're going to see if we have some carbon. Uh, here we have photos. So you can go ahead and choose some carbons like that. Make it like this. And you're going to put it like that. I'm going to put here plastic. Plastic. Then we are going to see here the photos. So make sure that you are going to put here a plastic one. So maybe you are going to see here some plastics. Now we are going to add maybe something more plasticky to show. I'm going to see here a normal one, not a very specific one. So maybe we are going to add this. Make it smaller. We're going to compare it to this one. It is uh, nearly the same. So after that, you are going to add, for example, here, uh, maybe you are going to add the normal one is going to be uh, uh, no battery, no battery, no battery, like this. Make it smaller. So we are going to duplicate this and make it the same. Cool. Battery. And etc. You can go ahead and make these. Then all you need to do is to click on share. Then we are going to get that table as a PNG image. So we are going to add it like this. I just gave you a little comparison table that we can add without coding and without adding so much noise. So we are going to see that. Here we have it. Now we are going to head over here at the image. I'm going simply to insert that table. I'm going to drag and drop it like there. Or you can go ahead and click on insert image, add an image, boom. It is going to be uploaded, then we are going to click on done, boom. So here we have the table added. We are going to click on save. Now we are going to be normally good to go. Now we are going to click on view and see it in real time within here. So as you can see here, we have the comparison table. It is added right there. So you are going to make people see the comparison table for a normal here fan and the fan that we are going to sell so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one